someone asked me three days ago about writers, how to deal with writer's block. I, I don't believe in writer's block I, because, um, because writer's block suggests to me that you're judging what you're doing. You shouldn't be judging it. You should just be pouring ideas out. And some of them are going to be, most of them are going to be terrible, but it doesn't stop you pouring them out. And, and you know, I have to be very disciplined about allowing every bad idea its day. And just going, well, that's a terrible, you know, I think I'll do it all with this little bamboo twangy thing. And you go, that's a terrible idea. Well, then try it. You try it and see if it's got, you know, is it, is it that mad? And so just doing tons of experiments, allowing every idea, bad or good, to have its day before throwing them away. So I throw away the vast majority of the things I come up with. And then, then you put it in front of, uh, you know, in the, my case, the director. And the ideal is that if, it, if it's going to be thrown away, it's thrown away now. The worst is the director likes it and, and, and you develop it. And three weeks later, you've actually written five things based on that theme. And that's the day the director goes, you know, I, 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 the, the other thing that you wrote for this for that other sequence was so nice. And it's made me realize that uh, this theme isn't that good. And you just go, oh, no. So, or, so how do you come to terms with that? I mean, it's, it, the bamboo twangy thing might be, you know, you, you throw it out there and it doesn't stick. But something that did stick and then now you're, I mean. Well, the fact is, you know, and I tell you how I deal with it. It's, it's um, the, you know, it's, and I'm not saying it's easy, but I am actually very quick about doing it. Like, I'm, I, you know, I've, my body will tense up and I, as I just go, oh, my God, all that work's going. And then you just go. OK, well, let's clarify what you are seeing this as. And then, you know, because when you get a, a new set of terms, a new set of directions or uh, a, a more informed perspective on the point of view, then um, then I immediately start imagining a different way of seeing it. And um, and it's very much about the vision. It's not about the music at all. It's very much the vision. You know, if, if, if you, I've been writing this music to support what, you know, character A's point of view, the spy's point of view. But in fact, the, you know, we reach this point a month later that the director goes, it should really be the victim's point of view. And then you just, the moment you get that, you just go, oh, yeah, no, that's now I, I see that the, the other approach doesn't fit with that at all. And it's easy to sort of start being creative in uh, coming up with how to support this new perspective.